Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all having a great start to your day. Today guys, in this video, I want to talk about Ethereum Classic and their possible move that they have been recently been talking about to moving to either Kekak 256 or SHA-3. And I believe the reasonings for their move to a new algorithm that they have been talking about, not set in stone yet, but uh, the main reasons I think is because of this company right here, Lindsay Asics. Now I've talked about this before in previous videos about a month or two ago regarding Ethereum and uh, Ethereum moving to ProgPow. But with Ethereum Classic, they haven't really mentioned that they are moving because of this ASIC specifically. And as we know with Lindsay ASIC, they can do ETH hash apparently. Here's the specifications. ETH hash, ETH hash algorithm at 1400 mega hash and at a thousand watts. So we take a look, we see that and that's kind of daunting, right? And with Ethereum Classic recently talking about, you know, uh, Kekak and SHA-3 as possible algorithms that they will they, they could move towards. Uh, that's just interesting because yeah, it's uh, this ASIC miner uh, from Lindsay is the possible uh, culprit for that move. So uh, I, I just want to go through Lindsay first and I haven't been to their website for a while but it looks like they have changed it up a bit. So you guys know, I'll just explain, Lindsay LTD is a privately owned fabulous semiconductor company in Shenzhen. We are fully self-funded uh, startup with about 10 people focusing on crypto ASICs. Now recently they made a GitHub and it shows here they recently updated it, updated it about 17 days ago. And they just show here basically what their company is about and their their ASIC that they announced and the specifications back in 2018, September 13th at the ETC summit in Seoul, Korea. And so looking at their schedule here, they have uh, uh, 12, 2018, the tape out, uh, 04, 2019 samples. So this month they should be having samples. And then in June, 2019, they're going to be doing mass production of this ASIC miner that can mine on any ETH hash algorithm, which is like Ethereum right now, Ethereum Classic, uh, Ubic, uh, Music Coin, uh, there's a few others, but uh, th th it's crazy that this, this can do 1400 mega hash at 1000 watts. My Radeon 7 can do about 90 mega hash at 220 watts. So, Take a look at that, guys. This is this ASIC miner is a lot more efficient and better at uh, mining ethash. Of course, I haven't seen any live videos of of the Lindsay doing it. So, but until that time comes, possibly in June 2019, and you know, in a couple months, two or three months from now, as of making this video, guys, uh, it's uh, it's pretty uh, interesting. So. So yeah, um, enough about that. I plan on talking about Lindsay in another video. They have a few documents here that I want to go over, but that will be in another video. So now let me talk about the algorithms that Ethereum Classic have been talking about. They haven't been saying that they are going to move to it, but recently they had a video uh, with uh, Gu Guido uh, Berto Ber Berto Ber Bertoni. I can't say that name. And he is the part of the Kekak team uh, in brackets, SHA-3 team. And apparently they won a contest uh, regarding their algorithm, uh, the NIST contest, to develop the secure hashing algorithm of version 3, SHA-3. And in this video here, they discuss, they discuss the algorithm. And this was, this was posted on April 19th on YouTube. And they had an hour-long talk here. I didn't watch the whole thing, but they were just talking about it. And so here is the website for Team Kekak. And you can see here they have a, a bunch of information here about their algorithm, the software, and uh, their competition that they just won recently. 
So uh, status here, winner of the SHA-3 competition, standardized in 3G, PP, TS, all that good stuff. So yeah, it's just interesting that they're talking about it uh, for Ethereum Classic and as well, um, there's another algorithm, Kekak 256. So there's the ECIP 1049 and there's a Medium article here back in January saying why Ethereum Classic should adopt Kekak 256 for its proof of work algorithm. Now there's a bunch of reason reasonings here and one of the big things was that uh, with Kekak 256 it's, they, it's apparently very secure and a powerful algorithm similar to Bitcoin's SHA-256. So you guys know with SHA-256, it's very dominated right now with, with ASIC miners. Bitmain, InnoSilicon, all that kind of stuff. But uh, another thing here is that with Kekak-256, um, they say on this article here that it is fast, simple, and thoroughly tested. It is very similar, but not the same as SHA-3 and has been through rigorous five-year competition put on by NIST to certify its safety in use cases ranging, ranging from high-cost scientific projects to military-grade encryption. So, with recently with the Kekak team winning the competition for the SHA-3, uh, it's interesting. I don't know whether it's going to be that they're talking about Kekak, 256 or SHA-3 to be the algorithm for Ethereum Classic. Now, I joined the Ethereum Classic uh, Discord and I haven't been approved yet, so I wanted to talk with them a bit more, get some more information because there hasn't been any readily available information online. I've been doing a lot of research about it and uh, yeah, the only thing I could really find is someone posted on uh, Reddit about three months ago, changed to uh, ETC proof of work algorithm to KCAC 256 and uh, someone mentioned here uh, this would do nothing there are KCAC 256 ASICs already and someone mentioned here which can be a good thing these ASICs are easy to procure the problem with ETHash ASICs is that they are hard to manufacture which I feel like is a good thing and thus only a few companies in the world can manufacture them Lindsay is basically a monopolist, monopolist on this market, which is very bad. They estimate they'll be able to get three to eight gain, three to eight x gains on ProgPow as well. Wow! If a chain wants to say ProgPow, it needs to it needs to either have an algo with cheap commodity ASICs, or do a Monero style hard fork every six months to prevent ASICs from happening. So this, this, this part here, they estimate that they'll be able to get 3x to 8x gains on ProgPow. Now, that's where I wanted to make another video regarding the, um, they had a PDF here regarding random logic design, and they talk about ProgPow, and this was about 25 days ago. So I'll go, I'll go along with, I'll go make a video about that in another video. So I just wanted to fin finish off, guys, with that. <clears throat> with the possible move to a different algorithm for Ethereum Classic, it's uh, it's it's in the works. I feel like it is in the works because of the uh, Lindsay ASIC. So uh, I've also uh, what I want to touch on, guys, is that Ethereum Classic. I did talk about the DAG size that they were talking about for uh, resetting the DAG size on Ethereum Classic. Now this was just a uh, a poll that was done on Twitter. And obviously, 73% of people voted yes, and 27% said no. There's only 100, 409 volts, vo votes, so um, yeah, not that many, uh, not that many uh, uh, votes to come about for this. So I haven't found anything else after that. There hasn't been anything recent talking about the DAG file to be reset. And as you guys know, the DAG file on Ethereum Classic right now is 3.05 gigabytes. So you cannot mine, people, most people cannot mine with their 3 gigabyte GTX 1060 cards, which I feel a lot of people were mad about. I'm one of those people. I do miss mining Ethereum Classic, and we cannot mine it right now on Ethereum Classic. So obviously that would be kind of profitable. But uh, obviously on GTX 1060 3 gig gigabyte cards, there's other coins you can mine, such as Ravencoin and uh, 
some other ones. So uh, take that as you will, guys. Music Coin, Expanse, Ubic, Soil Coin. There's some other uh, other ETH hash coins that you can mine right now with your GTX 1063 gigabytes. So it's uh, not really dead in the water yet for uh, GTX 1060s. So I, I don't mind. I, I'm 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 kind of neutral to the DAG file uh, restriction reset thing. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below for that. And then uh, lastly, guys, I just wanted to announce, uh, know, uh, tell you guys that the uh, Ethereum Classic will be doing a hard fork, which I made a video about on April 9th. Uh, called Atlantis. So this will happen approximately mid-September 2019. They didn't announce any like algorithm change or anything during this time. So I'm wondering because of the Kekak and uh, Shaw 3 with their recent talk with this uh, developer, uh, Gudo Bertoni of the Kekak team, that they could possibly move towards this. And it's just, uh, yeah, interesting. And I've been just doing a bunch of research on this, guys. And yeah, that's, that's basically all I wanted to talk about. And uh, let me know what you guys think. Because uh, I'm, I'm a fan of Ethereum Classic. I'm a fan of Ethereum. I'm, I'm a fan of a lot of uh, proof-of-work coins, guys. So I hope uh, this information bodes you guys well. And uh, let me know what you think. So yeah, <laughs> I appreciate all of you guys who watch me. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, all that good stuff if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.